pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, so now I'm going to. This thing's filthy now, so I am going to do a, a wet sand and buff. I'm going to take a little section somewhere here, and I'm going to wet sand it with some 12 or 1500, and then I'm going to hit it with some heavy cutting compound and see what this paint job does. See what it, if it comes back at all. Or... All right, so I'm just going to start right here. I figure it's a good enough spot. I ended up buying a whole box of these uh, Durablock, all different sizes. It was a variety pack, if you will. Things are pretty nice. They work really well. So I've got some wet and dry paper here. That's a, this is a 1200. I figure I'll start with that and see what it does. I just got a squirt bottle with some water. I'm gonna be really careful here in the beginning. I have no idea how thin this paint is or anything about it, so. Ah. I didn't cut these tails long enough to Hold on to it real nicely, so it's a little short. All right, let me wipe that down, see what that looks like real quick. Doesn't look too bad. Definitely hear the difference. Definitely smoothed it out really nice, so. All right, well I got that corner wet sanded. Looks pretty good, it's, feels good. Feels nice and flat, so. Pardon the noise, I got the dog groomer here today, so. All right, I'm gonna get the buffer out and some compound and hit this and see what happens. All right, so I spent all the money and bought the Harbor Freight buffer polisher. These things got really good reviews, so I guess we'll see how they work. I think it's like anything with Harbor Freight. You get, if you get a good one, you get lucky, it's fine. But So I guess there's two different ones of these. There's a seven and a half amp, which this one is. And then there's another smaller one, and everybody said the other small one is nothing but problems, so. Not a bad unit. Then I got a couple different uh, polishing pads. I got a coarse foam and then a fine foam. I'm going to go with the coarse to start with. I think it's all Velcro, yeah. So that's easy. Then I got the Meguiar's Ultra Pro. And this is the heavy cut. I figured that paint's going to need all the help it can get, so. All right, I'm gonna go back over the car and give this a shot. I think I'm just gonna put about halfway to the number three to start with. Start with that much. I'm guessing here, so.
Well, look at that. <laughs> I would say that's a success. This thing will come back. I can't believe it. Definitely see the difference there. Wow. Huh, all right, cool. Well, well, you can see my reflection there. Not so much there. What a difference. I wasn't sure if this paint would come back. You know, obviously the car has been painted once and I wasn't sure how good it was of a paint job. You know, it was just a, well, definitely a mediocre paint job, but if it'll come back to that, I'll be thrilled, so. Well, now there's a shoo, poop ton of work to do. So, but that's pretty motivating though, so that's cool. All right, well, that was a good little test. So I'm not gonna bore you with all of it. I think I'll just kind of bring you back and forth, you know, little by little here, and uh, I'll start working on this thing. I got half the hood done here. Let me see it. So. I'm just hitting it really lightly. This hood is really thin, the paint, so I'm not going crazy on it at all. You can see it right here, it's really thin, but the whole thing is really nice and smooth. The top of the fender, really nice and smooth. So I'm just trying to be careful because it's thin in here. So, but uh, it's gonna be good enough for polishing it for sure. I'm just trying to cut through that little bit of layer there to get all the dirt out of it, so. Feels good. All right, I'm gonna keep doing the rest of the car here. All right, I got the whole car wet sanded down. You can see how choppy it is. I ended up just doing it by hand. It was so much faster and easier and I just did it really lightly. I was just trying to take off that really light layer of dirt and grime on it, so, but it came out okay. Definitely good enough to buff, that's for sure, so. You can see all the divots in the roof from the, the hail damage, all the little dots there. And that's pretty much what this roof looked like all the, all the way across here. So you can see how flat I got it. I was pretty surprised. So that's it. She is wet sanded. All right, now over the next, I don't know, day or so, I don't know when I'll get to this thing now. I just wanted to get that done. All right, time to get to work it's the next day. Home from work, so I'm just gonna start on this roof up here. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I got part of it done. I got the deck lid and then just right here at the edge of the quarter panel and then this other part of the roof up there. Got that done. It came out pretty decent. Definitely not perfect. You can see all the divots in it from the hail. But I knew that the roof, the deck lid and the hood is probably not gonna be wonderful, but it's not bad at all though. It definitely gets better as it goes down the side of the car, of course. It's just not getting beat up by that sun. So, you know, it's got a little, you can see the haze to it. So it doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but it's not too bad. I think it was just a single stage paint job. So, you know, parts of it, like this came out really nice. This looks really good. It's got a lot of depth to it. Um, this side actually up here is pretty good and then I did the quarter panel just this section right here and it does look pretty decent so so yeah I'm not a green fan but you know I mean if this thing will come back to where it looks halfway decent like this I'll be happy with it and then I'm gonna go over it again I've got another pad for the buffer 
and I'm going to do a lot lighter, more of a wax or polish, and I'm going to go over, I'll do, go over it all again, so hopefully that'll add a little bit more to it once I do that. This is just the initial, initial cut, so I'm going to have to go get more pads for sure for that thing, because it's, once I get around all the emblems and, you know, the molding and all that, it starts tearing those pads to pieces, so, plus it gets oversaturated, so, but yeah, I'm happy with it. That car's going to look pretty darn sharp, so. All right, it's Friday. Got a little progress done today. Took off work a little early and I got the hood done and pretty much this whole side of the car. Passenger side's done. Came out pretty good. Pretty good for a crusty old cougar. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. So, paint's still pretty good and heavy up here, and I got the hood done, and half of this hood, the passenger side of the hood is really thin, um, you can see it all right here, but the driver's side is not that bad, just a little bit in the front, just a little bit right there. And a little bit back there, definitely more paint on the driver's side than the passenger side, and more hail damage on that passenger side as well. So I don't know if I was just sitting in the sun on this side more, who knows, but. So I've already gone through a couple pads and I just gotta finish this side up. I'm gonna have to go get another pad probably tomorrow and, and I'll finish up this passenger side this weekend and then I'll go over the whole car with the other pad, a lighter pad and uh, a lot lighter compound so not too shabby though so over the next few days I just worked on this thing on and off as much as I possibly could I was basically trying to get this thing done as quickly as I could so I didn't record anything else but I just included these still shots here. And uh, the final product came out like this. And I got the trim around the windshield on and the uh, piece up above on the roof after the paint. And everything turned out pretty well. The car turned out really sharp and uh, pretty happy with the overall results.